The start of any school year has always been a challenging one as well as an exciting one. This year, schools are re being reopened in the context of the COVID-19 pandemic. And we all know what has happened over the past few months with the COVID-19 on the rise. And so there is some concern as schools are reopened. SK Newsline went about to various schools, primary and high schools. I had a chat with some of the head officials um, who lead those establishments. We're going to get a feel for what has transpired um, in the early hours of the school reopening and see how well things have gone um, at each of those schools. So in this era of COVID-19, we recognize that the conditions keep changing almost on a daily basis. And so we recognize that it's important for us to first be equipped with whatever information, the requisite information to guide us as to how to approach this educational setting. We had a trial run, as I alluded to a little earlier, last year in which we were able to implement certain protocols. And as such, we ensured that those protocols run through this time around. The basic things like trying to ensure that all of our students were equipped with a face mask. That's one of the things that we tried to, well, actually we insisted that all of the students wear a face mask and wear it appropriately. We recognize that the situation with COVID is very fluid and so we are preparing to go virtual as well. So this afternoon, some information regarding the status of our students, especially our incoming first farmers in terms of devices, internet, those will be collected across the entire school so that we as a staff could see the complexion of what it is with our students, what's happening in their homes as it relates to the devices, access to devices and the internet in particular, so that if we move towards the virtual modality that it does not impede or hinder the students from getting the necessary instructions or lessons that they are due. So we have catered to them virtually and we have catered to them physically as they are here and ready to learn. Okay, let me first say that uh, how excited I am to have uh, the children back at school face to face. Uh, this morning went extremely well. I must uh, commend the parents uh, for trying their best to adhere to the COVID protocols. The children, they came this morning, everyone was wearing their mask and wearing their mask properly. Upon arrival, they were sanitized, temperatures were checked, and they made their way to their classrooms. But we are trying our best to keep the children in their bubbles. We would have created bubbles to prevent in the event, God forbid, that anything happens, we, we have minimal um, exposure, you know, to the other children. So the only challenge that I foresee is, you know, the children staying in their bubbles. And additionally, another challenge is, you know, having the children wear their mask properly. Yes. So we have had a chance to speak with a lot of the principals, deputy, deputy heads of the primary and high schools of, a, of several of the institutions that we visited um, this morning. We are, we are feeling that uh, most of the reopenings have been well organized, things went fairly smoothly, and uh, that the staff and students are prepared to work hard at this, um, COVID, uh, the COVID-19 protocols to keep themselves safe. Now, uh, we also get a, got an idea as to what uh, some of the focal um, areas of interest over the next few weeks in terms of um, independent celebrations, in terms of preparing some of the fifth form students to take their exams um, coming up um, in, a, in a few months' time. SK Newsline has been on the ground covering some of the key issues facing the school reopening and speaking with some of the principals on how things went. This is Glenn Barrett reporting for SK Newsline.